Manchester City may have been superior in possession and chances created, but when it comes to being ahead, Real Madrid was in the lead on the scoreboard for almost the entire tie, with 116 minutes against just 18 for Manchester City. Let's hear from Valverde, Nacho, and Lucas Vasquez. You are the MVP of the match, but if it had been given to Rudiger or Lunin, it would have been fine, right? Yes, of course. It has been an incredible job by everyone. I want to especially congratulate Lunin, who was heavily criticized after the previous match for a play that could happen to anyone. But today, he faced the challenge and showed the courage you need at Real Madrid. He has shown that he is up to the task of being Real Madrid's goalkeeper, and I congratulate him for that. Now, everyone is enjoying the victory, qualification, and the joy of the fans. But do you enjoy a game like this? From minute 30, you were forced to be locked in your own half. You showed the ability to endure suffering. Can you enjoy the game with that required concentration and suffering? No, it's not like that. We did what we planned until we scored the goal, then psychologically we start to retreat even if they are not attacking you. So it's difficult, plus you get very tired physically and mentally. It's tiring to be chasing the ball all the time. They are a team that is always attacking, so it was quite tough. It was always one-on-one -on -one duels you try to cover and they pass it to another, they turn and come back again. So there's no rest. But you have to know how to suffer, make an effort, and show that pride. And even if we're not playing an incredible game, you always need this type of game. This has even more merit because you are the type of team that dominates and attacks, making the opponent suffer. You are not used to playing with this style, right? Yes, usually it's the other way around. That's why we have to congratulate all the teammates who adapted to the situation. Obviously, there are teammates like Vinny, Rodrigo and Jude who stand out more in attack, but today they did an incredible job. Jude in every play and every minute was fighting until the end. His game has been incredible, and I congratulate him for that. In addition, Judy had the courage to take a penalty, and that shows his maturity, quality, and what a great player he is. I know you won't want to send a message to anyone, but now if someone said that Real Madrid is not a favorite to win the Champions League, what would you say? Real Madrid is always present, but this is part of football. We recognize that the opponent was playing good football and better than us. We didn't come here as one of the favorites, but we are Real Madrid and we have shown up, maybe not in the best way, but we have defended ourselves until the end and won. You are already in the semi-finals. Thank you very much. That was the goal. Since this knockout phase started, we have suffered a lot, because the opponent here puts a lot of pressure on you, but we are Real Madrid, and we fight until the end. We are very happy in the semi-finals. Everything went according to your plan, and from minute 30, you have done a survival job that you are not used to. Real Madrid usually doesn't defend, but rather attacks. That's very true. We are not used to that. Usually, we are the ones putting pressure on the opponent. But it's very difficult to play here against City, who play very well. Today, we showed that we also know how to defend very well. We did an incredible team job. We are very happy to have achieved the goal and thinking about the next game. This time it was you against Holland. He couldn't make it against Rudiger, but couldn't get past you either. As I said, we were very good defensively. I am also happy with my game. These are the magical nights you dream of since you are a child. It gives me goosebumps. The penalty shootout. Modric misses his, but you score yours. Lunin does his job. We fought until the end, as I said. We started the penalties poorly, but turned it around. We fought until the end. This team has an impressive pride with players who have won everything but still want to fight for more. Now comes the Clasico and then Bayern, but now we have to celebrate today and tomorrow. We have to celebrate today and tomorrow. And now we have to think about the Clasico, which is an important match for La Liga that we want to win soon. How are you feeling, Lucas? We are very happy to have achieved qualification to the semis. This has been a tough night. We had to suffer. 
and we played in a style we are not used to. The team has once again shown the character it possesses. We are happy. One of the phrases that is being said a lot on social media now is, only Real Madrid does this. What do you think? We had this plan in our minds, and it was to qualify for the semi-finals. In important moments, this team always shows courage, and we have shown again the character, humility, and work capacity of all the players is incredible. Did the penalty shootout from 2016 in the final cross your mind? Again, you are the one taking a decisive penalty, just like in Milan. What goes through your mind at that moment? The same as in Milan, just to be focused on scoring the penalty and helping the team. Everyone who took penalties did very well. We are happy for the qualification. That's the most important thing. What was Real Madrid's plan? Did you decide to defend or did City force you to stay back? City at their stadium has a very particular style where they always try to dominate the opponent. For most of this game, they did that. They are a great team and play well. But we were focused on this game to look for counter-attack opportunities, and we had them. We scored first with a collective play, and then it was about holding on. The team did a great job, and we won. To take the penalty, did you offer yourself or was it the coach? The coach asked me if I wanted to take the penalty and I said yes. Did you feel confident for it? Yes, of course. It's important at this moment to have the confidence that you can score the goal. Did you see Rudiger running half the field to celebrate with the fans? Yes, I did. He was spectacular. He did very well. Incredible. I think that Rudiger, besides having a great game, had the coolness to score the last penalty, and I'm happy for him. You have to celebrate. How is the atmosphere in the dressing room now? We are all very happy. We did a great job on the field, and we are celebrating it. We did a great job, and we have qualified for the semis. Do you realize that you have eliminated one of the strongest teams in the tournament? City was one of the favorites to win this Champions League and current champion. We have eliminated them, and we are two games away from reaching a final, and we will fight to the death. Two nights to remember, Barcelona and Atletico fall and Real Madrid qualifies. We are happy for ourselves. We did what we had to do, and we are in the semi-finals.